Amanita muscaria. You've seen it before, the red mushroom with white spots that look straight out of a fairy tale. But unlike other psychedelics, Amanita muscaria doesn't give you vivid visuals or ego deaths. It takes you somewhere entirely different. Let's dive into the weird and deeply misunderstood world of Amanita muscaria. Instead of psilocin and psilocybin, its effects come from muscimol and ibotenic acid, two compounds that don't just affect serotonin, but target GABA receptors, the same system that alcohol and benzodiazepines interact with. And that means the experience doesn't resemble LSD, shrooms, or ayahuasca. People describe it as a dreamlike dissociative state with a mix of euphoria and strange physical sensations. Others describe the sensation of becoming untethered from reality, almost like sleep paralysis while awake. Sounds weird, right? gets even stranger. For centuries, ancient cultures revered flyageric, but not in the way you'd expect. In Siberia, shamans didn't always consume the mushroom directly. Said they drank the urine of reindeer that had eaten it, filtering out toxins while keeping the hallucinogenic effects. Some historians believe Amanita muscaria was the original Soma, the divine drink described in ancient Hindu texts that supposedly granted enlightenment. There's even a theory that the modern image of Santa Claus, his red and white suit, flying reindeer, and gift-giving was inspired by Siberian shamans using Amanita muscaria in winter solstice ceremonies. Yet despite its deep history, it's almost completely ignored in modern psychedelic culture. Why? Here are five reasons Amanita muscaria never became a mainstream psychedelic. One, it's completely different from other psychedelics. Instead of trippy visuals or ego disillusions, users experience dreamlike states, confusion, and strange body sensations. Number two, the effects are unpredictable. Some feel relaxed and euphoric, while others describe it as terrifying fever dream. Number three, it can be toxic if not properly prepared correctly. Number four, it hasn't been studied like other psychedelics. So while LSD, psilocybin, and MDMA have been researched for therapy, Amanita muscaria has almost no modern scientific backing. And number five, it's legal in many places, but no one cares. Unlike psilocybin, it's not federally banned in the US, but because of its strange effects and lack of research, most people don't bother with it. Amanita has been used for centuries, yet today, it's barely part of the conversation. And maybe that's for a reason. Unlike psychedelics being studied for therapy, its effects are unpredictable, research is lacking, and what little we know raises more questions than actual answers. If this topic caught your attention, stick around. We're here to talk about substances, substance use, mental health, and the realities behind both. See you in the next video.